What's up YouTube? This is All Things Quick. Today we got another video coming at you. We're doing some stuff with the E46, the 330XI. Just getting some things ready in preparation of getting this motor and this transmission out so that we can start building this motor and start boosting it. There's some things that we need to fix and some things that needs to happen before any of that takes place. Right now the car got a dead battery so I'm just going to pull my truck in and I'm just going to boost this thing quick and we're going to start working on it. Okay, so I thought that I could just hop on in this car, but the battery's dead. There's no way for me to actually get in, except through there. Okay, so I just climbed through there because one of the problems that this car has, it's got a busted handle. I need to not lock this thing anymore until I fix this stupid stuff. But this does need a new door. I'll be getting that soon so then I can actually get in this piece of junk. Let's pop that hood. Let's get this thing open, man. These things are pieces of junk. Need to get rid of that trash. See you later. Open the hood. Let's boost this thing. All right, so there's just a few things that I want to do today. I have to take this windshield washer reservoir and I need to relocate this thing because where this reservoir is and where the secondary air pump is, is exactly where the turbocharger is going to sit when it comes time to actually boost this thing. Once we get further into this build and I have to take those AC lines, I have to make something work in conjunction with the turbocharger. Where those lines actually run are directly where the manifold will go and where the turbocharger will sit. They're in the way, they're inconvenient, and we're gonna have to fab something up later on down the road to make that all fit. So first things first, just like everything that is trash on this car, it's getting thrown away. Just like these old kidney grills are getting thrown away. This has this raggedy old thing on here. I wanna get rid of that because it's just an eyesore and you don't actually need it. So pull this thing down. Get rid of this thing once and for all. It's also worth mentioning too that I'm gonna take off the cabin air filter and the housing that's on that and we're also gonna get off this BMW logo. All right, first things first, reservoir for the windshield washer fluid. 10 mil bolt, this thing lifts right out and there's three sensors on it. So one sensor right here for the level sensor. This is for the actual motor. Take that one out. This one here for a secondary motor. Just take all those out and then your reservoir is free except for the hose at the back that actually goes to the wiper jets. But when you take this out, you have to be careful because it's gonna squirt right out. See that? And one more thing right in here on the bottom. You have your hose that's connected to this motor here. This goes to your jets on your headlight housing. So now that this is emptied, I'm just set it aside because I'm going to have to relocate that later. And while I'm in here, I'm just going to move these hoses back. Next, I'm going to take off the cabin air filter. These are simple. Three tabs right here. Turn these tabs. They pop up with springs. Two and three. Filter comes out. Throw that aside. Throw this aside. These are T30 Torx. Just need to get in there with an extension. You know, I thought about all this and I'm gonna use some air tools. So, go and plug my compressor in. Hook up my air lines. And now we have air tools. Dun, da, da, da. Let's get air ratchet. Zip, zip. And here we go. Much easier, way more satisfying. You have your alternator harness and these things just there you go, now that's free. Now you can pull this whole thing out. That's your cabin air filter housing. Now I'm just gonna take off the BMW logo housing or whatever you call those on the valve cover. I don't even know what they're called, but I'm gonna take that off. That there is just a 10 mil. Two are nuts, two are bolts. And again, with the BMW stuff, throw it away. Well, actually, I don't think we're throwing it away, but definitely not using it right now. Once everything's finished, finished, maybe I might put it back on. For now, it's gonna get stored away until I decide if I wanna use it or not. For the secondary air pump, you have three bolts right there, right there, and right there. You're gonna need to remove all those three to be able to get the pump off, and then there's two for the actual bracket, and that's right here and right here. Each one of these are also 10 mil bolts. So that there will free up your pump and you can take the sensor out of the bottom and then all you have is your pump connected to your EGR valve. And right now is a good time to go and blow some air before we get too deep into this and open up too much. And now you still have your two bracket bolts on your secondary air pump, 10 mil. Sorry, I made a mistake. There's one more bolt underneath. 
And that there is your secondary air pump bracket, and that also is junk. So this hose here that goes to your secondary air pump, you can use a six mil. Just pop this thing off, and that's our secondary air pump. And that also is junk. Actually, it's not junk. This thing works perfectly fine. So if anybody needs a secondary air pump from uh, E46, hit me up in the comments, and we can get this to you because I'll never use this again. So on this little EGR valve here, you have a little hose, and that runs into the back of your intake manifold. When you do pull this off, if you do a secondary pump, delete you need to lock off the back of the intake manifold just plug the little nipple that's on the back there but for this case that is actual trash look at that that just snapped right off that was barely hanging on there so you can see how outdated this stuff is I'm just gonna take this intake thing off here I'm not gonna be needing that either to be honest I'm not even sure how these come off because hey just like that that's how it comes off don't do that if you're trying to save stuff but that's garbage and I just noticed here that that's missing a bolt please don't drive like that if you're missing something just find a bolt that fits there was some scraping going on in here and I'm suspecting that it was because of that if you have a bolt that's broken fix it so the next thing you're gonna take off this intake those are both 10 mil bolts take this off unclip these five clips and then there's two tabs on the back side of this mass airflow sensor one there and one there pull this off and again that's garbage this is also garbage this won't have an intake that's stock once it's finished this is garbage so it's just these two bolts that are holding that on there is a intake port right there and that just needs to get pulled off and this is garbage okay so we're just gonna take this out and see if we even have ac in this thing if we do we're gonna drain it because i need to move that line to get the catalytic converters and the manifold out of here just gonna check this and see if that still have ac in this thing we're gonna drain that out so i can get rid of that freon and move this actual ac line here to get at the o2 sensors and the catalytic converters with the manifolds so that's drained out gonna unbolt this 10 mil Pull that off that bracket. Okay, you're gonna take off this AC line right here. This is our number six hex. Just gonna pop this thing off. Second one, we're gonna pop this off as well. So now that that one's off, pull this out as well. Just gonna shimmy this thing around. These hoses can bend here, so. This I'm keeping though, because later on, once this build is done, I'm gonna keep the AC and I'm gonna reinstall it. We just have to reroute it to go up and over here and into the cabin, probably in through this. I'm gonna cut something in there and pop it back in that way, because right now they're exactly where the turbo needs to go. Just gonna pull this one back as well. This one's an actual hose though. Be a little more careful with it, that it doesn't snap on you, because these things will break. So from here, we're just gonna take these hoses two sensors unplug them keeping in mind which bank is going where so that we don't mix those up if we decide to plug them back in but we'll unplug those now our o2s are ready to come out so these guys can come out too this one here goes to the ac canister and this one here goes to the ac compressor these as well are number six hex so now those can slide around freely and be out of the way. Now I'll take out that EGR valve. It's pretty well right in the way of getting the exhaust manifold off. Plus, we're not going to need that anyhow. 10 mil bolted right into the side of the head. That was the first one, now the second one. One came off as a nut, one came off as a bolt. But that stud's supposed to come off of there. So it's just two bolts in there. And this thing is garbage. So now I need a real long extension. Right down in there you have two bolts. Again, they're both uh, number six hex. We're gonna start with this back one. Now that that's free. Okay, we got the first one out. That just has to be shoved aside until the second one comes out and then that whole thing can come off. And that's your second bolt out. We'll just pull this compressor hose. And this is garbage actually it's not i need to start making a pile of things that i'm going to reuse so that's not garbage i'll reuse that one now that that second one is out this first one can slide through and this i will reuse so this is good practice to go and stick some cloth or something in there so that when you're working on things you don't get any dirt or debris inside of the actual ac compressor because then you'll have to clean it out and cleaning it out could prove difficult so just like that just clog it up so that nothing drops inside there so now i'm just going to jack up the car and then we're going to check underneath and see if we can't get up those exhaust manifolds and remember to always use jack stands when and where you can especially if people love you and actually care if you die so before I actually get down in there and take these O2 sensors off, it will prove easier to get in there. You're supposed to have a tool for these. It's a lot easier when you have that tool. One thing you can do is you can slip it over top 
and you can go right down in there with your box end. It will be a little easier for you taking that thing out. Okay, it's cracked open. That should be able to spin out freely by hand. There we go. It's 102 sensor out. That's pre-cat. Second one, we might be able to get it. Yeah. Second one is free as well. These are the easiest O2 sensors I've ever taken out of a BMW. All right, so those are two free cat O2 sensors and they actually look like they're in decent condition. Now these shields, these look like they're in very bad condition. Would you look at that? That is garbage. Let's see if the other one comes off easy too. There we go. Look at that, garbage. So now we actually have top end access, which is great. By the way, if you're wondering, that is a 7 8 wrench that I use to get those O2s out, or you can use an actual O2 sensor socket, but it would be 7 8 So I'm hoping I don't break these bolts off, but each one of these manifold bolts in here, they're all 11 mil bolts. We need to take that off in order to get to the catalytic converters that are on each of those. It's a really tight space in there. Better if you pull your motor out, but I don't have an engine hoist right now, so we're gonna have to do that for now. So far, I've gotten five bolts off as long as you have the right extensions and the right sockets it works out fine because with this little extension either with a short socket or deep socket there you can get the top and the bottom all right so I got all those bolts out this exhaust manifold is free now I just have to unbolt it from the bottom and then I think I might be able to slide that out I don't remember how these go on these stock manifolds you have to pull one out and then the other but I think this can come out after you unbolt it from the bottom so underneath the car here there's your exhaust flanges and that goes up to Right in there on your catalytic converters. This one had this nasty leak here, and that's why, because that's completely blown through and looking like absolute garbage. Garbage, like what is that? Like honestly, what is that? That's no good. That's where that rattle was coming from. And this side isn't any better, so I think I might just cut those to be honest. Then I'm gonna take this shield down here, and then I'm gonna actually get a little bit of room and cut this exhaust off because there's nothing really to unbolt there. Okay, so I just took this off off camera because this thing is just giving me a hard time. So I have one screw left, and when I put that back on, if I put, uh, you know what? No, I'm not even putting that back on. Screw that. No, that is trash. I don't. Know how far this heat shield goes either but take it off just to make it easier to get in here cut that exhaust out oh my god okay i just took that heat shield off off camera because that is trash so one thing i am going to try to do before i cut this exhaust off is i'm going to try to get at these o2 sensors right here yeah no those things aren't coming off so we're just gonna So I've had a hell of a time trying to get that exhaust manifold off because of the rusted out flange that's underneath. So I'm gonna take the whole exhaust off. These brackets here are 13 mil. Alright, I just got all those bolts out. I took the one bracket off. That one's still hanging on there, but it's mounted to rubber bushings. That I'll leave on with the rest of the exhaust. Okay, I just got the stock exhaust down. Man, that was a pain in the butt. Like, all these bolts were so rusted out. And I've never seen this before. I mean, I know what it's for, but I don't know if this is aftermarket or if this is a B30 thing. I'm not sure, but it's functional and it works. So that's pretty cool. Might just cut that off and use that for something else. I'm hoping I can just shift this thing back and forth and break that flange off. After all that, this thing's finally free to come out. That's it. That was a lot to get that piece of crap off, man. Like, this thing is like, look at, look at this. I've never seen something so bad. We still gotta get the manifold. If anybody wants the resonator or the mufflers or whatever, hit me up and you can buy them for dirt cheap. Okay, still got a little sunlight left, so exhaust manifold gasket. Actually not in bad shape. See if we can get this manifold up and out. Probably not. My luck. I'm just gonna go and take the other manifold out. Unbolt it just to make it easier. This is a real good moment. This is where I'm on my last bolt on the manifold. It's been such a pain in the butt. I hate these stupid manifolds because they have the catalytic converters on them. And it's just such an inconvenience. You can barely get your hands in here. This is the last bolt and then I'll be able to pull them out. All right, here it is. Take this gasket out of here. Trash. Garbage. Now we can go hopefully lift these things right on out of here. Or take them through the bottom. I don't know how they've been so long since I had stock manifolds on my car. Do you know I have to unplug the O2 sensors though? Those post-cat O2 sensors are right here. It's also zip tied to the thing. So those need to come out.
All right. One exhaust manifold out. And two exhaust manifolds out. Man. I'll tell you, man, those were tough to get out. Those were really, really tough. I didn't like that at all. And, like, the thing is, I know these cars, too, and I know these motors, but, like, that was just really tough to get those manifolds out. So, if you're doing these manifolds, uh, yeah. Good luck. So these exhaust manifolds with these catalytic converters on it, these are not trash, but they are trash. I'm not using them ever. So I'm gonna take them to the scrapyard and I'm gonna get some money for these things. I'm never ever putting cats back in a car again, ever. I would never do that. Last thing I'm gonna do so this thing stops rubbing is I'm gonna stick a bolt in here. Okay, so I got a bolt and a washer on that thing, so that's good. What we're gonna do to finish this off is just to pull this exhaust out and and that's it. She's all done. Done for today anyways. That's the last of what's coming off for today. So if anybody wants a stock muffler, stock resignators, hit me up in the comments and you guys can buy that. And I'll sell it for dirt cheap. If anyone wants a secondary air pump, y'all hit me up in the comments and I'll sell that to you for dirt cheap. And what else we got? I'm going to get rid of those cats too. And we're putting in the AC stuff back after we boost this car. So I'm just cleaning it up right now and then I got to fire this thing up and push it back. And it's probably going to be nasty loud because there's nothing there anymore. All right, since we're all done. So I'm just gonna go and see if this thing will start because the battery was dead when I had to jump it today. So we'll see if this will kick over. And if it does, it's gonna be flipping loud. Nope. All right, I just hooked it up to the jumpers. We're gonna see how it sounds because we need to move it back. It's gonna be flipping loud. Alright guys, so that's the end of this video. There's a lot that was taking place in this video, but we just needed to get this thing prepped and ready to be removed. Get some things off to make some scrap metal money like those catalytic converters, make some money back from our initial cost of doing this build. So we got everything out that we needed and now this car is parked again. And the next time that we get at this, we're gonna be doing another few things and we're just going to keep prepping this thing, getting this thing ready to get this motor out, getting it ready to get the transmission out. And then of course there's some repair to do but once we're done the repairs and the maintenance and have the transmission and everything swapped out then we can start doing the fun stuff like building this motor turbocharging the motor and going for a standalone wiring harness and ECU but there's things that need to be fixed like this driver's door needs to be fixed there's some rust spots that need to be fixed and rectified like this before we actually go ahead and start doing performance things it's just part of doing a build is doing the maintenance first so that's where we're at right now if you like that video definitely subscribe because this is only episode episode two of a whole series that we're doing. If you're into this kind of stuff, definitely subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, if you enjoyed it, even if it helped you out. Share it with a friend, get them interested in this build that's going on, and we're gonna be doing lots more stuff with this car. And make sure that you check out our Discord channel. The link's in the description. It's a whole community of people that enjoy doing car stuff, and people that build motors, and people that generally just have questions and wanna know about this kind of stuff and know how to build cars themselves. So if you wanna check that out, it's a very user friendly server so with all that being said we'll see you in the next one see you later